Hello and welcome to another review of the monthly numbers of data that has been submitted by Real World Polestar 2 drivers. This is the January 2022 uh, number review. And I would just like to say before we get going, welcome to all our new subscribers this month. It's great that you've joined us. And to everyone else, thank you for watching the video. Really appreciate your support and hope these numbers are useful. Also want to say thank you to everyone who has submitted data at polestardriver.com. This is real world data from you who drive Polestar 2s currently. And without you, we would not be able to get all of this data together. So let's take a look at the numbers. January 2022, we've had 125 submissions, which is another great uh, number of real world data that we received in the system. January is also the anniversary of when we started collecting numbers from drivers of Polestar 2s. So effectively, we are now on month 13, and you will see through the different reports how the numbers are going up. Here we can see the top contributors in January. And thanks again to everyone who submitted. Those of you who are in the top 18 submitters will see your numbers on the screen for January. There is also a report there which shows the top contributors of all times. And if you're in the top 18 there, you should see your name on the screen with all your relevant numbers. So what's consumption looking like? Uh, in January, uh, we now have 126 submissions and the average is coming out as 36.6 .6 kilowatt hours per 100 miles or 22.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. That is up from December, which was 34.6 uh, in miles and 21.5 in kilometers. That's for the long range dual motor version. If we have a look at uh, the long range single motor, we can see 19 submissions with an average of 34 kilowatt hours per 100 miles or 21.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. In January, we had no submissions for anyone with a single range, standard range single motor Pulsar 2. If you have a standard range single motor Polestar 2, please, please submit some data so that we can start seeing what the numbers are compared to the other models. Looking at the miles or kilometers per kilowatt hour, we can see in January the miles per kilowatt hour is 2.79, which is down from December, which was 2.93. This is based on 126 submissions. Likewise, for uh, kilometers per kilowatt hour, we see 4.49 in January compared to 4.72 in December. That was for the long range dual motor. If we look at the long range single motor, we see uh, 2.96 miles per kilowatt hour in January with 19 submissions and that is down from 3.11 in December. Likewise, in kilometers, we see 4.76 kilometers per kilowatt hour, which is down from 5.02 in December. Again, there was no data submitted for standard range single motor versions. This next page just shows us a summary side by side a uh, standard range single motor on the left, long range single motor in the middle, and long range dual motor on the right hand side. And there you can see the blue bar is showing you the range in miles, and the peach colored bar is showing the range in kilometers. If we have a look at the top left, the standard range single motor has four submissions with an average range of 216. The long range single motor has 125 submissions with an average range of 236. 
and the long range dual motor has a range of 239 these are miles with 1352 submissions here we can see the numbers side by side so uh, we have long range dual motor on the left long range single motor in the middle and standard range single motor on the right hand side and here you can see the blue boxes are miles the peach colored boxes are kilometers and we can see distance range kilowatt hours per hundred miles or kilometers and miles or kilometers per kilowatt hour there you can directly com compare the different models so for example the long range dual motor we get 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour overall this is across all months in the year whereas the long range single motors currently get in 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour you can see at the top there how many trips are logged for each version having a quick look at the heat pump so uh, newer cars have the option of ordering with the heat pump and you can see in January um, those who submitted in miles you can see 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour with that for those cars with no heat pump and 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour for those with a heat pump overall across the year on the top on the right hand side you see the number as 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour for those without heat pump and 3.0 miles per kilowatt hour for those with a heat pump it's hard to tell uh, the numbers here because heat pumps only came in around about October last year and so we don't have any summer month data for those cars with a heat pump if we take a quick look at wheel size um, so you can see there for every month the difference between standard 19 inch wheels standard 20 inch wheels or 20 inch performance wheels and if we look in the green section bottom right hand side this is the overall number for the whole year we see 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour for 19 inch standard then we see 2.6 for 20 inch standard and 2.7 for performance 20 inch so not much difference between the 20 inch standard and 20 inch performance but relatively big difference between 19 inch and 20 inch air conditioning uh, in the cold colder months should you leave your air conditioning on or turn it off um, and if we have a look at the green section at the bottom in January you can see it is 3.0 for those driving around in eco it is 3.0 for those driving with aircon off and 2.7 for those driving with aircon on so a slight difference there but between off and on but not much difference between eco and off uh, bottom right hand side you see uh, the chart for all the numbers across all the months and there you see eco is getting 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour uh, aircon off is getting 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour and leaving aircon on is getting 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour are these numbers as big a difference as you would expect tell me what you think in the comments below on this page you can just see the trips and distance covered so the top part shows how many trips were submitted in each month and the bottom section shows you how many miles in blue and kilometers in peach have been submitted over the different months you can see september october november december is when uh, i had my car but i was just setting this uh, system up and then in january we started receiving uh, data overall we are currently having more than 100,000 miles in the system. So new for this month, I've taken uh, the real world range for each country and I've broken it down into long range dual motor, long range single motor and long range standard motor so that you can see for your country what 
the differences between the different models and compare it to your own numbers. So if you have, you have a look here, for example, on the top we have um, long range dual motor for uh, United Kingdom and there you can see the range going up down in January. So last January it was at 185 miles, February 194 miles for range and we come along to January 2022 uh, the average range is 220 uh, which is slightly down from December which was 227. On the long range single motor there you can see from October to January there's a slight uh, down, downward trend uh, where it was 250 miles average in October and down to 227 miles in January. But here you can also directly compare the different models. So the long range dual motor is getting 220 miles range in January 22 and the single motor, long range single motor is getting 227 miles in January 22. So seven miles more to have the single motor seems to me like uh, not a big difference but tell me what you think in the comments below again we see standard range single motor not much data there was some submission in uh, December but if you have a standard range single motor pulse or two please submit your data it uh, takes only a couple of minutes and you can even submit it using the Vivaldi browser in the car. That's it for this month. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you enjoy these, these kind of videos. Click on the subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified next time the next video is released. And please leave your comments below. I like reading your comments and interacting with you on any topic related to Polestar 2 numbers. If you have any suggestions of other data we should be looking at or collecting, put those in the comments below also. I'll take a look and see if it's feasible to add that information or create a report that has that information in it. Thank you again to everyone who submitted data. I really appreciate it. Without you, this project wouldn't go anywhere. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next month.